One and a half minutes, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, excuse my voice. I'm <laughs> recovering from a cold. Let me uh, first thank you so much for yielding and for your unwavering leadership on protecting Medicare and our seniors. Now, uh, just in uh, reminiscing about the Bush administration policies, which I really can't forget, uh, in 2005, I co-founded the Out of Poverty Caucus because of the rising tide of poverty under those failed economic policies. We saw a steady increase in poverty throughout the previous administration, and of course, millions of Americans are still struggling to recover from the massive financial crisis that this administration inherited. Now in the 113th Congress, the Republican budget attempts to extend and even expand these terrible economic failures of the Bush administration. Yes, also under the Clinton administration, we did raise more revenue with uh, higher taxes. We created more jobs, we balanced the budget, and we had the revenue we needed to maintain a stronger safety net. In stark contrast, this Republican budget protects the wealthiest and most powerful while gutting Medicare and Medicaid and really it shreds our nation's critical safety net for children, our seniors, our disabled, our nation's poor and the vulnerable. This budget would end traditional Medicare and put seniors at the mercy of private insurance companies, dramatically increasing their health care costs and limiting their choice of doctors. This budget comes before us at a time when this Congress has unfortunately already cut spending by $1.5 trillion and an additional $85 billion in cuts under this unconscionable sequester. And even um, though programs like SNAP, the Earned Income Tax Credit, the Child Tax Credit, and Medicaid support families and promote economic recovery, this Republican budget continues the misguided effort to punish the poor, the vulnerable, and our senior citizens. Yes, we want to create jobs and opportunity for everyone, but we cannot shred the safety net nor harm our seniors as this budget does. It threatens to shatter our fragile recovery while protecting Pentagon spending. It also protects subsidies for big oil and tax deductions that encourage corporations to send American jobs offshore. Finally, let me just say, uh, and I think we all agree that uh, a budget uh, is a moral document, or at least it should be a moral document, and it really shows what our nation's priorities and our values are. I have in my hand a letter from a little girl, and I want you to just see this. Uh, she wrote to me. She's following what we're doing here. She's six years old. She lives in Oakland, California, and she has a very simple message for our committee in this Congress. She says, please help hungry children. That's what she says. It's the true measure, we know, of our nation, how we treat our poor and our seniors, our most vulnerable, and especially our children like this little girl. She gets it. So if there's one hungry child in America, then this committee really and this budget has failed to do its job. This budget will not only not help hungry people, but it will put more people at risk of being hungry. And it will put our seniors at risk of falling through the safety net. This is not who we are as Americans. Thank you, and I yield. All right, thank you very much. Uh, and